Well, good morning, friends. I am here at the pond this morning, and I'm taking in some quiet time before I head on into a busy day. But I thought I would also share some paintings with you. And some of you were asking me, like, we never see, like, do you draw them or do you um, sketch them or do you use template um, tracings? I use all of it. I do all of it. So sometimes I use someone else's drawing. I run it through, like, a copy machine. So I have, like, a basic, almost like you'd have a color sheet. And then I have a paint sheet. Other times I draw, and I actually draw the design and paint the design, so it's completely mine. Um, but I do a little bit of both, just like I, I'm always dabbling in everything. So a little bit of drawing, a little bit of painting, a little painting with watercolors, a little painting with acrylics, a little multimedia. So I'm kind of all over the place most of the time. <laughs> but I thought I would just show you um, so you can see. I've always used and um, am very comfortable with a number two pencil and a piece of paper. Um Initially, before I ever started painting, I was doing sketching, and I actually created like a card line all in black and white, and everyone would always ask me, like, aren't you going to do these in color? Are you ever going to do them in color? And I was always like, no, I don't really do color, and that was before I had ever watercolored, um, and so it's kind of funny now to see like full circle how much color has come into my world, and um, how it's changed um, the way I do things, but I still love a good old black and white um, sketch. But anyway, with that said, um, I said, oh yeah, I can show you some of the ones like I'm doing right now that I'm just sketching. And so this was like a little, um, for kids, this is like a little dolphin that I'm doing. And that's like fully hand done. Um, this is like a little, just a smile. These are all mostly for kids and youth. Um, and then I have like a little, this is like a lemonade. Um, and then I have an, a little owl I'm working on. And, and I'll show you these like later on too when I'm all finished. This is a really rough sketch of a um, seahorse that I will show you when I'm done. And then this is just some random flowers that I'll probably just put like a verse or a quote on. And then I have this one here. I'm doing like the the see, the um, message in a bottle, but kid style, kind of kid stylish, or I would say like just light, uh, simple. Um, it's not finished yet, obviously. None of these are finished yet. And then these are ones that I've drawn and painted recently. So this is another one, kind of like that um, dolphin you saw. This is going to be like a little set. Dive deep, have a whale of a time. Um, let's see. I think I've showed you these ones before, but just to get an idea. These are some of the florals. Sorry, I'm trying to grab them. This is another one. And then this is one I did last week. And again, they're just really simple, but... Be resilient. Keep your sunny disposition. This is another one I did last week. Lots of fun. This is all freehand. Cute little otter. Had fun with him. So, um, yeah, so that's it. And then this would be more like, this is like somebody else's depiction. Um, someone else's drawing, but then my coloring. And then also my add-ins. Like you can see the trees, they weren't there before. Um, the pond that wasn't there before so I added those in the birds were there so I'm always adding or, or uh, messing with even what they give me to start with um, and that's just like what I like doing I just get in there and whatever I feel like I want to add I add um, if I need to cover something up I'll cover it up if I need to whatever I need to do and um, yeah make it my own so I hope that that will encourage you guys to just remember just to not worry so much about the boxes or the lines and staying in them and coloring in them. You know, do what you see and be creative and bring something new to the table. Even if it's something that we've seen a hundred times, but it has your spin on it, then it's going to bring something fresh to the world around you. So don't be afraid to be fully you, creative and free. Yay! Have a great and glorious, love-filled, and victorious day, my friends. Remember, the one who's the creator of all things dwells within. And he's longing to be seen in the world. So 
Go be the best you can be. Bye for now.